Antarctica, with a population of 1,000 to 5,000, is the southernmost continent on Earth, also known as the South Pole. This desert covered entirely with ice remained very little explored in the 19th century, thanks to its great remoteness and hostile weather, and for these reasons it is established as the coldest continent on Earth, with temperatures that vary from zero to minus 80 degrees, although the historical record has been up to minus 89 degrees. Such a surface covered with a large amount of ice has always generated curiosity for people from all scopes of life, from scientists to individuals in general. And it is that not only doubts such as what kind of discoveries could be hidden under the immense layer of ice, but also one in particular that could answer questions from historical origins and the natural processes that have been happening on our planet Earth. And it is, how did the Antarctica freeze? Hello, welcome to Amazing Words in English, a space of knowledge where you will learn more about the universe that surrounds us, the planets and our stars that are part of it, and above all, our beloved planet Earth. As you know, today we'll be explaining how the Antarctica froze. I invite you, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, to do so and activate the bell to be notified of the next topics that will be released very soon. Once the introduction is done, and with nothing more to add, let's begin. To start talking about this topic, it is necessary to clarify that the Antarctica was not always cold dry and with layers of ice. Thus, in the Paleozoic area, and at various points in its long history, it was located much further north, was a central part of the southern continent Gondwana, and had a tropical or temperature weather, as well as being covered in forest and inhabited by various forms of life. What is now Antarctica also remained connected for millions of years with South America and Australia, creating a large area through which both fauna and flora could move. Subsequently, Antarctica had several periods where the temperature was changing, such as at the end of the Devonian period, where glaciation began, as Gungwana centered on the South Pole and the weather cooled. On the other hand, Towards the end of the Permian period, the continued warming led to a hot, dry weather over a big part of Uwana. Now, at the beginning of the Mesozoic era, and as a result of continuous warming, the polarized layers melted and big part of Uwana became a desert. Certain species of vegetation emerged from Antarctica and also certain species of dinosaurs, such as Lystrosaurs, became common. During the Jurassic period, the peninsular part of Antarctica began to form, and little by little, these islands emerged from the ocean. However, during the Cretaceous period, there is some evidence of Antarctic marine glaciation. The continental propagation changed the oceanic currents, matching the temperature of the longitudinal equatorial currents with the latitudinal currents, which preserved and accentuated the differences in temperature in latitude, resulting in the slow and continuous cooling of Antarctica. In the Eocene era, Australia New Guinea got separated from Antarctica so latitudinal currents were able to isolate Antarctica from Australia, and the first traces of ice began to appear. However, even from what was previously exposed, what gave rise to the isolation, the reduction of temperatures, and the definitive massive appearance of ice was around 23 million years ago, when a passage or a narrow was opened between Antarctica and South America that bears the name of Drake's Passage, which is a maritime passage delimited between Cape Horn in Chile and the South Shetland Island in Antarctica, giving rise to the Antarctic Circumpolar Current that completely isolated the Antarctic continent. 
To analyze the impact of Drake's passage, a team of researchers from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee use high-resolution simulations and analyze the influence of ocean eddies and how, as the passage gradually gained depth, they stopped supplying warm water to the south. Libby Ives, in a statement to WorldSideKid.com collected by Life Science said, The opening of the Drake Passage and the Tasmanian Passage allowed the Antarctic Circumpolar Current to fully form. When at least one inlet, Tasmania or Drake, in shallow 300 meters, ocean jars carry warm weather towards Antarctica. When the second gate decreases below 300 meters, these jars weaken and cause spectacular cooling, an average of 2 to 4 up to 5 grades of the superficial waters of Antarctica, under nice the study, which concludes. Our results demonstrate that tectonic changes are crucial for climate change in the Southern Ocean. In another order of ideas, and according to another recent study published in the journal Natural Geoscience, they reached to the same conclusion, since the scientist in charge of the investigation revealed how Antarctica froze and was covered by a layer of thick ice tens of millions of years ago. They explained that, to begin with, the warm ocean currents changed direction thanks to the deepening of the Drake's passions, pushing the waters to the North Pole of the planet. Second, according to the EFL science, the freezing was possible 66 million years ago thanks to a reduction in the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere which had already started to decrease since the Cenozoic era, but that with the changes in the ocean currents, they caused more rains and then lowered the levels to a critical point. Furthermore, the patterns of the changes suggest that the decrease in the levels of carbon dioxide became more important. The ice began to spread, replacing the forest that covered the continent millions of years ago. The consequences had an effect on a global scale, because throughout the Eocene, the Earth went from being a planet with a greenhouse effect to one with colder conditions. The results indicate that the cooling initially responded to a decrease in atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations, and that it later intensified as a consequence of tectonic changes as explained by Isabel Sauermilch and collaborators from the University of Utrecht in Natural Communications. As a minor fact, research on fossilized animals the size of a pinhead, known as foraminiera and found in mud in Tanzania, showed that the oceans cooled 35 million years ago. The continent has been mostly covered in ice as early as the Neogene period, about 15 million years ago. Many years later, the Pleistocene Sing Ice Age covered the entire continent, and by then, all digital life in Antarctica will have been destroyed. Good dear friends of YouTube, so far as today's video, please do not forget to like, share this incredible information about the Antarctica with your friends. Write us in the comment box to let us know your opinions and concerns about the subject in question and subscribe to learn more about the universe that surrounds us, the planets and the stars that are part of it, and above all, our beloved planet Earth. Until the next video.